heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... In this episode of Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby, we look ahead to this Saturday's derby between Polworth and Grey College, live on Supersport. Stellenbosch is rich in rugby heritage and Paul Roos, named after the first Springbok captain, has played a massive part in rugby history. Paul Roos and Grey College's rivalry is legendary and started way back in 1967. Paul Roos is a school where we have uh, all-round opportunities available to our boys, uh, achieving all-round excellence. So it's definitely more than just about rugby, but as you can expect, and then, uh, all boys school, rugby will always be important. Being in Porus, I see it as a great privilege uh, on its own. Being uh, the school has so many traditions and uh, it's got a great history. Um, I would say being part of it, it's, it's, it's amazing. To jog into the, the first team field on a Saturday, if it's a home game or away game, it doesn't really matter when you put that maroon jersey over your head, you feel that pride. I do believe history plays a big role in it. Um, uh, Stellenbosch, uh, we were very fortunate in Stellenbosch that we had the, the late uh, Obas Mark, Aif Makotter, who was the father who taught Craven how, to, how the game works, and then we had Craven in the area. Uh, and, and these things are, are, are very big catalysts in, in producing, uh, not only producing the Springboks, but to create an atmosphere where the importance of the game of rugby football is, is, is stipulated. And, and uh, through that, uh, the rest is sort of automatic, a, a, a result that follows from that. For me, I'm very over my sports. Um, Average academic, so but um, 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 my father found out that Paul Ross is a great school for rugby, so I thought and took an opportunity to um, stick my hand up and say yes. And just that got getting accepted here at the school, like so I thought now I'm definitely coming here just for the rugby and the tradition we have here in the school. It's really a great um, honor to wear the maroon jersey. For me, it's Really a privilege uh, making my school's first team, seeing that many SA legends came from our school and I would describe our school as a great rugby school, or not just a great rugby school, but uh, academics and a great sports school too. Few rivalries match the intensity of Paul Ruess versus Greg College. It's the pinnacle of the season for us, um, our last game, into schools in Stellenbosch, and it doesn't get bigger than this. I've played against Greg my previous years and it's always a big match and tough and physical and you know, it goes to the 80th minute down to the wire. Great college, um, you know, over the, over the years have established themselves as probably the number one rugby school in the country. And then Paul Ruiz, um, the, the name says it all. And I think when these two, two clash, um, you know, the, the sparks will fly. These two schools have produced more Springboks than any other by far. Paul Roos is op die oomlik die school wat die meeste springbokke opgelever het, 51, soos wat ek vermeld het. Maar uh, na die Tweede Wereldoorlog is Grey die onbetwiste voorlopers. So ja, ons geel al die krediet, want hulle is inderdaad ook uh, vandag een baie groot springbokfabriek. Of the 30 boys that will run onto the field, some of them will be future springboks as well. So the fact that, um, you know, we're competing for, for that ranking, which we lead at the moment, it's, um, it's a great honour to, to coach and to, to be involved in a um, game like that. Yes, it's a very great year to get the maroon tray over your head to track for every game. And to know that there are 51 springboks for you, which all the trouwers have been over your head. And it is a great responsibility that you have to draw, but... Wat een groot eer. I've been Porus from grade 8 to matric. Uh, played every every year. I played for the 8 team in the division. Um, no, it was amazing playing at Porus rugby. The cultures there at, at Porus and uh, the rugby structures they have in place is amazing. And with the new facilities there at, at Makota, uh, it's just getting better. Yeah, it's massive pride. Um, Playing from from 
uh, grade eight and going all the way to matric and always looking up at this uh, at the senior players and at uh, the first team rugby is always uh, looking forward to it every single year and maybe you're getting the chance one day and luckily I got the chance and I was part of that uh, tradition. The jersey carries a lot of meaning to many of the players because of all the all the legends that have been in the jersey before you and it, it really does it really does affect you when you when you look back at all the people that have that have won the jersey before you. Gray is uh, obviously our biggest game of the year it's our interschools game and uh, it's uh, it's the highlight of our year if you're a rugby player. The local derby is always the ones you want to win and when it comes to interschools against Grey Bloom it's always a big tradition always playing or at home or away uh, traveling by bus and, and enjoying the trip and making the most of the day. The boys are uh, really hungry for this one. We really uh, got something to prove with this last game. We got uh, a school to make proud. We got 15 boys in my team to make proud. And I really hope we get to get the chance to do that. Grey Bloom plays an a, a all-round good rugby game. Um, and there's two things that stands out, just tempo and intensity, um, which we need to match. Uh, Inter schools is 50-50. And um, I think because it's such a big occasion, it, it's, it's up for grabs to any, it's a team that wants it the most. Um, looking at this is our last game, um, we're going to give out everything, seeing that it's my last year also. So I'm going to give everything in that game. My heart and soul is with Boris and hopefully they win the game. But it's going to be a tough game on the day. Hopefully um, supporters come out in numbers and just support the, the great event. The boys from famous school Grey College will pile onto buses in Bloemfontein for the long journey down to the Cape to test themselves on the fields of Stellenbosch. Grey College is probably more known for its sports achievements, but we strive for a holistic education where boys have the opportunity to achieve in academics, in sports, in cultural activities, as well as develop their leadership skills. Rugby and, and all, all other aspects of the school um, is very close to our heart, but rugby especially, it's part of our culture, it's, it's part of our South African culture. Rugby speelt natuurlijk a very big role in my school life, and it's one of the most reasons why I'm going to go to Grey, but my matric year I've tried to so focus on your academy, and see if I can a good course can study. When we were in 7, we were always Achter die palen gezet en gezien hoe groot de namen die ranks gaan en dit me ook ongelooflijk inspireren om te krijgen. We at Great College are very proud of, of, of all our boys. Yes, our Springboks are perhaps more in the limelight and more in the news, but for us, the end product is a great is a boy with a great college education. And whether he becomes a Springbok or a, a business leader, um, or whether he achieve in, in, in any other aspect of life, or even just become a good father and a husband. Those are the things that we really value here at Great College. Om een grijp bloem te gaan wisselen is eerst een voorraad geweest en een groot eer voor mij. Um, um, niet te zeggen van die groot rugby uh, traditie wat hulle daar het nie. Um, ek was denk net die een van die gelukkigers wat in hulle eerste span kon gespeel het. Om in die school soos grijp te wees, um, leer mys baie dinge. Um, nie net sport gewees, maar ook levens gewees. Um, en uh, ek denk onder die competitie so, so sterk is op, op grijp, leer het jou net om harder te werk as enig ander speler om boe uit te kom. Ik denk dat is baie druk op die spelers om goed te presteer, omdat hulle graag die groot name wat voor hulle daar was gestand wil doen en self ook een legacy achterlaat. Maar die ondersteuning van die onderwijzers, jou schoolmaats en spanlede maak die druk heel wat lichter. Paul Roos is altijd ons laatste groot uh, interskole van die jaar en uh, ek denk hierdie jaar is het daar onder een stel in bos. Het um, is altijd natterig als we zelf speel. Um, als die, die bal glad is, is het moeilijk voor Grey, want ons speel gewoon een hartje brak. So, um, ja, op die dag, het kan 50-50 se kant wees. Paul Roos is een very special uh, interschools for us. We've got a very long-standing tradition with them. And we really value and treasure that, that interschools fixture against Paul Roos. The atmosphere on the day is, is, is very special, it's very unique. Um, you know, the boys are all hyped up, the whole great community gets behind the school and it is a very special occasion. It's really a, a, a kind of a goosebump occasion for the school. Paul Roos has always been a pretty big rivalry, but I have to say uh, preparations through the week were good. Not much has ch have changed from our previous weeks. Uh, hard work and we'll, we'll hope it pays off on the weekend. Paul Roos is always a big game and it's one of the top schools in the country. But it didn't change our preparation for the game and it um, stayed the same throughout the year. 
Well, our preparations haven't deviated from, from the rest of the year. It's just a matter of focusing on what we have to do on Saturday. I followed the Paul Ruiz team. Uh, so far they've had six losses this season, but, but, but that says nothing on a, on a given day. The top schools in South Africa match one another on any given day. And as in the past, it will be a very tough encounter against them. The Grey Paul Ruiz derby. Uh, it's always a big one. Um, it's definitely uh, was one of one of my biggest uh, rugby games uh, of of my rugby calendar. Uh, maybe because it's always the game at the end of the year, and you really need to end end high. This game is played with a lot of tradition, and both teams will put their body on the line to get the best result. Uh, the Paul Roost match this year is being played in Stellenbosch, um, so I'm sure they'll be preparing some wet weather for for us uh, coming from the Free State but we are looking forward to the inter-schools and it's a very special occasion for us. These two first teams will play together one last time to bring the curtain down on their 2013 seasons. Om eerste spant te speel is altijd een droom, al as ek reis sien is a baie groot voorrecht en ons mys mik altyd daarna. Somtijds twyfel mys natuurlijk in jouself, maar as jou kop afhou en hard werk, gebeur die dinge en maar net aan hoop. Ja, ek het nooit die dinge gaan realiteit word nie, maar dit was nog altijd een van my groot droom om ek die eerste van te speel. Ja, ek denk het is een welbalanced team. We hebben nog de biggest pack, maar ze spelen een snel game en het is goed om 15 man rugby met dit team. Die schools hebben elkaar 29 times, met Grey victorious op 22 occasions. Paul Ruiz lost one in 2009 on the Makata field, a feat the boys in Maroon would love to repeat. Gray will go into this match as favourites to continue their winning streak. Great team Paul Ruiz is always a great game. We have a lot of tackles seen and line breaks in Bayer 3. It's going to be a tough encounter uh, with a lot of spectators. Uh, the side that keeps its cool and does the basics best should come out victorious at the end of the day. <laughs> I would tell them to enjoy every minute of the game and to really embrace every moment because it goes by so quickly and uh, you have to savor the moment. Today, we stand for all that is. For our heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... Watch Paul Roos versus Grey College in Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby this Saturday, live on Supersport.